And welcome back to the Revelers videos on the Whitakers. We have seen significant interest in the Whitakers and in the videos that we're doing because we're looking at the core family. We're looking at the, the love and, and, and looking at, at Ray and Timmy with, with, a, with an open mind and saying, we're just all family. They've got issues. We've all got issues. And we don't choose a life that we that we're born into, but we take advantage of it. And I love I love the Whitakers. I love everything about them. I love learning about them. I love hearing their stories. But one of the things we're going to look at today is some of the new characters that are introduced. And we, we got a glimpse of that during the last video. We're going to look at it in more detail today and we'll continue to explore this during this series on the Whitakers. Because anytime money's involved, we know it, there tends to be issues. Family comes out, friends come out, everybody wants to be a part of it. So, the, you know, Ray and Timmy and Betty and Lorraine, they've become very famous, very popular. And with Mark's work doing uh, GoFundMe, they've gotten some money. And in odd West Virginia, where we're going, some of that money is is gets stretched out and is is you know wanted upon by other folks. So we're going to look at some new characters introduced, and we're gonna we're gonna explore that and say, is this real or is it not? So let's let's enjoy you know we, we, we enjoy where we've come from because we we saw the Whitakers at the, the very. Uh, you know, the, 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 the beginnings of them was very open and transparent. And we saw just, just complete, you know, openness from the family in who they are. And I, I think those first couple of videos really laid that out. Um, we had the original video, um, we had the update, then we had the Walmart video in our last one. And we started to see some of those things, but this video, we're really going to see some new characters, as I said, and we're going to explore in another video, we're going to explore the GoFundMe that Mark has set up and his team um, with the soft white underbelly, because you know, there's a lot of money that's coming into these guys and it's not Mark's fault. I'm not blaming Mark at all because he's doing a lot for everyone. And I think that's rife for abuse because he is helping so many people. It's difficult to keep track of all these things. And I think I, 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 well, we'll get into it, but I think maybe the core Whitaker family is being taken advantage of some. Uh, being taken advantage by some of the family members, maybe others will see. And and Mark Mark's the only one that knows that, and it might be Mark's tracking it. I don't have uh, insider in, in information on it, but it's worth to take a look at because so many of us have put money into the into the Whitakers and 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 have tried to help them and support them. So let let's jump into this new video, and I'm gonna I'll pause it sometimes, but but really the first few minutes is really just enjoying West Virginia. So let's jump in and enjoy some of this scenery from West Virginia because it is absolutely breathtaking, absolutely great country. And um, do love, do love this. Now this is MAGA country, so don't forget it is MAGA country. So you're going to see some things that are maybe you know, aren't used to if you're not from the South. Just reminds me of the South, reminds me of Tennessee and, and uh, Northwest Georgia, North Carolina, Northern Alabama. You get off the beaten path, it's exactly how it is. In my home beyond the mountain, I shall ever dream of you. In the evening time of life, if my father only will, I shall still be all the vision of the West Virginia hills. Over here, beautiful hills. Just going to improve the quality a little bit. It's a bit low um, on the video. Well, let me just take a step back and, and again reiterate that this is a video production by Mark Laeta. Mark does, he's the producer and, and creator of the Soft White Underbelly. He has done amazing work. 
the, the Whitakers is just one small piece of the great work he does. I think most of the stuff that he does is out in California. So the Whitakers is kind of a unique kind of uh, blend that he puts into some of his videos, but does amazing work. And he helps a lot of people. OK, and so I think that's why it's so important to look at the Whitakers and not judge Mark on what he's doing, because he's he's put a lot of money into the Whitaker's pockets and helped them tremendously. And we're going to talk about this because I think the Whitaker's overall are much better off after meeting Mark than they are before. And I get a lot of YouTube comments saying, why are you taking advantage of these guys? Why is Mark doing this? Why are you trying to just at the end of the day, the Whitaker's are better off. And I think we all can agree that, or I hope we all can agree that that's better than them continuing on that path that they were in so here they are we're in in he, he put points out it's raleigh county west virginia that's odd west virginia and I don't, perhaps he, he doesn't want the town to be known because the whitakers are becoming more famous but in in raleigh county west virginia this is the whitakers update from spring of 22. <laughs> Talk to him, Ray. So here we hey, go, Ray. Ray again. Good to see you. <laughs> you want to show me what you guys built next door? Show me the house next door. Take me over there. So there's Kenneth. Um, I, I'm, show, show me I'm already going to pause it because uh, this is one of the issues I have. Kenneth was introduced during our last video at Walmart. Okay. And if you remember, Kenneth is one of the brothers. That it, it, It's biologically full brothers to... Uh, Betty and Ray, for sure. Um, and uh, same as, as John. So let's let's take a look at this because you know. Anyway, look at look at the house. So you'll see the house that that Ray lives in. If you if you're new to the series, you're gonna see a few more details about the house that Ray and Betty and and Lorraine folks live in. And here's the new house, the new construction that Kenneth lives in. Okay, and we're going to talk about Kenneth a bit more in a minute, but here's the house that Kenneth lives in. <laughs> Very nice. You got a new car, too? You got this, too? Yeah. yeah. So we got nice. a four wheeler. Who's staying here? We've got several <laughs> cars <laughs> now. And, and I'm not I'm not belittling the fact these you know that's a Nissan Xterra that's a, that's a, a very old car. It, it, you could have a four wheeler. You need them in West Virginia. It's it's not about that. It's not you know nitpicking over some of these little things. We'll talk of the more uh, overarching themes here here later in the video. But you know I'm not I'm not too worried about you know a, an older vehicle like this because everybody needs to get around and and we don't know what can it does and that's the reality is we don't know what some of the brothers do we're, we're going to talk about it in a minute you know and kind of try to explore that but we, we don't know so I, I don't want to judge kenneth or anyone else but let's look at this house compared to where the core family lives and let, again the core family is ray who we see here that's uh, timmy the nephew that we see in in a lot of the the main pictures we've got betty and lorraine and that's the core family I look at. Freddie was one of the original group. He, he passed away before the original video. Larry, is this the car you got? Is this the car you got? No, you got that truck right there. Oh, the, the, the truck. <laughs> I'm sorry? I said, that's the truck we bought and messed up on. I'm sorry? I said, that's the truck we bought and messed up on. Oh, okay. I got to get it fixed. All right. Well, we can help you with that. I hope you do. <laughs> you can come like your new uh, lifeline. To... Yeah. I understand. That's all right. That's all right. So we've got Larry, another brother. And uh, Larry, we saw Larry and his daughter in the last video. It seems that Larry does help and support the, the core family a lot. So we'll, we'll try to learn more about Larry um, on, on this video and, and others. 
but Larry does seem to be much more involved in the family. But as he, as you said, you know, that, that, that truck's messed up and he's hoping that Mark and his team can help him get it fixed up. How have you guys been? Good. You look great. When would that be Dr. Daisy? We don't okay. You survived winter. Spring's coming. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what, the what are you showing me? I can't. I can't wait to work. What's over there? Work. Show me. You want to take me? Dang, hey, dang. Hey. hey, Kenneth. How's that, Mark? Good. So you're staying next door? I, yeah. How about that one? Yeah, That's great. Fine, That's nice. So what, what have you guys done with, with some of the money I gave you? You, you got a new, a new roof. Got your roof. The roof looks great. Put your side around the house. You got siding? Yeah, I don't even right. I don't. I don't even recognize the house. New kitchen cabinets. And a car. Next, the truck. Yes, I mean, that's great. you four down on the floor. I'm sorry. The new. You four down on the floor. Oh, I see. Excellent. Yeah. Hey, Lorraine. How are you? She don't want to talk. I know she doesn't talk much. So, so let's take, think about it. So with the money that Mark's in over, uh, Betty, Betty just said they, they got a roof, which is a tin roof on, on the house they're living in. It looks like a good tin roof. They've got siding on the house, which was certainly needed. They've got new kitchen cabinets, which Betty was very proud of. And, and we'll see them soon in, in the video and a new car, which we just now know from, from Larry doesn't run, so a new truck that doesn't run, and a floor. So we'll continue to look at that, but uh, let's let's continue on. Timmy talks. Oh, Timmy. Thank you, I'm doing Timmy. Yeah. Oh, How are you, Timmy? The house. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys all look healthy. Yeah. They do. They do look better. I, I I don't want to stop it here, but I think they they all look much more healthy than they did during the original video, a couple of videos. I think it's I think it's very clear um, that that Mark's work has helped. They do look more healthy. They they're much more energetic. They look uh, I don't want to say cleaner, but but they look more healthy. They got a better glow to themselves. So um, I, I do commend Mark and his work for that. <laughs> What's going on? You guys had dinner yet? Huh? Have you had dinner yet? No. What are you guys going to do for dinner tonight? I have no idea. What do you guys normally do? Tip, typically, like when I've been here, but in the past, I see Ray grab a loaf of bread and some some like sliced meat, and he makes a little sandwich. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Bologna or yeah, bologna or whatever, something like that. Tomatoes, you know, all that. Anybody cook here? No. No? Nobody cook here. Kenny does the most cooking. I do right most of the cooking. You do most of the cooking? Yeah. I do a lot of the cooking. What kind of, what kind of stuff do you make for these guys? I'll make a belly, damn me, fish, and I'll just he get it out and I'll fix it for him. A bunch of candy and stuff like that. Yeah. She liked my cooking, I guess. Yeah. I can't get on my leg longer than I know. So we know that Betty traditionally was the one that did all the work um, for for the core family. So perhaps Kenneth is stepping in and, and doing a bit more work. I know Larry, We, I think we, we was some indication early on that Larry and his daughter were involved. They just didn't want to be on camera initially for the first couple of videos. But it looks like Kenneth is doing a little bit. But, you know, we'll, we'll look at that a bit more because we're going to go look at Kenneth's house, house in a minute. Her leg's been doing a lot of trouble. Your leg? Yeah. How's, how's Ray's knee? He's out walking around. <laughs> yeah, he seems he fine. Keep him in the house. Well, right, right, you're, you're taking another piss. Ray, <laughs> mm, Ray just. Ray doesn't use the bathroom, does he? He's the only people can't hear me. He goes outside using the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> He used the bathroom outside more he does in the Yes, I see that. I see that. <laughs> Ray just needs to go, he goes. Yeah. Yeah. 
But the siding looks good. Right, right? your knees better. I, I think. Um, yeah, the siding looks beautiful. Yeah, it looks really good. <laughs> what are you doing in the back? You're you're in the in the creek. <laughs> Show me. Okay. Take me. <laughs> Take me to your beautiful creek. Take me. Take me to your creek. <laughs> Show me the creek. Beautiful plot of land, and it really is. I think anybody from the south, I mean, they, they love this. They, they love having a house put on this little creek. <laughs> yeah, that's the siding, the extra, extra siding. <laughs> Kenneth, who stays next door? Huh? What's going on next door? As in what? At Larry Place. That's where I live. You li you live next door? That's where I live. Yeah, yeah I don't Larry know who lives there. there. Makes a lot of sense. So you stay there. Yeah, that, that Larry's there because we did learn early on that Larry. Kenneth is in the new trailer. Larry's really Onion, helping take care of them early on. And Lorraine and, and Lorraine and Betty, Timmy and Ray stay here. Yeah. Show show me Ray's bedroom. Can you show me Ray's bedroom? He wants the right bedroom. It's right there in the living room, man. Ray, Ray, show me your bedroom. Ray just sleeps Ray, in the living room, if I recall. Show me your bed. There it is. Right there. That's your bedroom? That's a going couch out. Nobody don't sleep in there. Your your heater feels good. <laughs> yeah, I just burn, I burn this. <laughs> what do you burn? Wood? Wood. Wood. I bought this I bought this chair. This this is good color. I I bought that. Mm -hmm. So you, the, the money has helped you a lot. Yeah, the money's helped a lot. It's improved your quality of your you life can, a bit. Huh? The the money has improved your lives a bit. That's great. A lot. Love. It's nice that we can help out. Yeah. A lot of people donated a lot of money to you guys. Show me, Ray. Oh, here's my floor. Ray's loving it. I'll put down. Nice. So happy. He's happy. It's his. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, He's sleeping. The dog likes there. your bed, too. <laughs> What's your dog's name? That's Blackie. Of course it is. Hey. Where's Timmy stay? And Lorraine and you? Hey. It's from oh, you have another bedroom here. Can I peek in? I'm being nosy. What? So that's where you sleep, Betty? Uh, this is your room? Where do you stay? I go there. You, oh, you sleep on the sofa? Yeah. That's where you sleep all year long? <laughs> that's your that's your bedroom right here? So who sleeps there? Who, who sleeps in this room? Timmy and Orange. Oh, they share a bed? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you watch TV? <laughs> what, what do you like to watch? Anything. Anything? He likes to watch TV. Please tell him the truth. Hey, it's you know, it, it's, it's, oh, it's your remote control. I get it. it you know, it, it's crazy to see, you know, how they live, but it really is an improvement to where they were. And I think that's a testament to, as, as we said to everybody that's donated money to the family. And uh, it, it's a tough life. Uh, and and uh, I think most of us, none of us, um, you know, we've all had difficult times in our life, and I think n very few of us can relate to the difficulties that this particular family has had. So I think to those that have have questioned why Mark would do this or, or why people would, would bring 
attention to them, it really comes into, you know, wanting to help them and wanting to make their life better. You see a smile on, on Betty's face here. And not a lot of times you saw early on Betty was smiling. She, she had a very difficult life and it was just a matter of fact, this is the way things are. But you see some happiness, and you'll see a few minutes, and she's so happy with the kitchen and the kitchen cabinets that she got. For the first time, maybe in her whole life, she's able to smile and say something, you know, she received something. Something was about her. So really impactful. That's okay. <laughs> 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 There's Timmy. Who's that dog? It's my dog. Who's that? What's his name? What's her name? His name's Wolfie. 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 Yeah. And how many dogs do you have? It's Sassy right there. That's Jason's dog. Sassy. How's Jason? Huh? How's Jason? He's still in jail? Jason's still in jail. Yeah. When is he getting out? Do we know? Tell Jason I would love to do an interview with him. I, I I would love to do an interview with Jason if he if he's willing. J Jason, I'm, I'm fascinated with. And Jason, I I you know I don't know anything about Jason that he's saying in jail, but that, that kind of follows the mantra that Mark typically follows is individuals that are in and out of custody, um, a little bit more mischievous you know, more of a kind of um, outside the norm, you know, in and out of jails and out of the social systems, in and out of, of, of problems, you know, especially on, if we think of West Coast, maybe California, that's kind of Mark's kind of bread and butter. And spending time with, with, with the Whitakers is outside of, I think, even his own comfort zone. So um, I think he would feel very comfortable talking to this Jason. And I, I don't know if it's a brother or a cousin, but someone that's obviously spending some time in jail um, that's part of the family. But I can bear to see you in such straight. It's okay. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> Ray, your knee's all better? Yeah, I think it's getting kind of clean on it. It hurts you now, man. Yeah, you're walking around just fine. Yeah. <laughs> you were hurting last time I was here. Because I'm sure I'm the only grabs me to him. Yeah. Tell me about your kitchen. Do you guys ever cook? Huh? Show me your kitchen. Do you guys ever cook? Who, who cooks? Cook, who cooks here? Well, I think I got cook every morning. I think Jenna cooks every evening. I heard my new kitchen cat in the hall. But Kenneth cooks for you guys. Huh? Kenneth cooks for you guys sometimes. Yeah. And I bought that new deep freezer. <laughs> oh, your stock, your fridge is well stocked. <laughs> it's good to see them have a good amount of food. That's what that's what thirty thousand dollars would do for you. Thirty thousand. <laughs> nice. So it looks like Mark's given thirty k. <laughs> it, it, up to this video, thirty k. In, in odd West Virginia, the whole that's tour here. a lot of money. It's a heater. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ever take a bath? I saw you in the bath once. I came <laughs> in and you were taking a bath. <laughs> <laughs> What's back there? Show me. <laughs> oh, the laundry room. <laughs> Time, time to take the garbage yeah, out, right? Time, time to take the trash out. Hey, Blackie. I mean, it's still living so everyone in... Health, everyone's health is okay? Still living in just abject poverty. I mean, despite the money. Um, and, and you know, it, 30K is a lot of money and odd, but when you start doing roofing and siding and, and fixing up the house, you know, it gets it gets away pretty quickly. And, uh, but, but it, you, you certainly see quality of improvement. So, you know, incremental improvements is big 
for these guys. What? Everyone's health is okay? Oh, yeah. You guys look healthy. You look good. I mean, the doctor and stuff like that. Lorraine's heart. Timmy's Timmy had a heart issue too, right? <laughs> I didn't had an overall surgery. It was on. I had a Give me a phone, right? Betty, you gotta stay healthy. Hey, hey, hey. You gotta, be, you gotta stay healthy because you're the, you're the one that keeps this whole clan yeah, okay. together. I'm, I'm, I'm worried about you more than anybody. You, even though you look great, you look fine. <laughs> Let's show me, show me. Yeah, it, 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 work now. And now we're gonna start seeing, I guess, the things I question about. I and I don't, I don't mean to to question Kenneth. Maybe everything's changed. How long has it been here? October, on Halloween night. Hmm. They brought in the house, set it up. You were living in Beaver for a while, right? Yeah, in Beaver. Now let, let's let's explore that because he said he lives in Beaver, and this is kind of the issues I have. And I, I went back and looked at the Walmart video where where Kenneth was introduced. And he said he's 64 years old. You know, he, he's the same parents of, of, of Betty, um, lives in Beaver. But the thing that really got me is he said he hardly ever sees them and he hardly ever gets up here to see them. He hardly ever gets up here to see the core family of Lorraine and Timmy, Betty, Ray. And yet the next video, he's got a trailer here on the property in a truck you know or a car a, a nissan xterra again not a not a high-end car but he's got a property here so it 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 is questionable now why kenneth is all of a sudden so close to them he's cooking them dinner every night and living on the property and has a trailer there very well i won't say odd because it's it's probably more common than we'd expect but you know, it, it, it's outside of what we've seen from the last three videos. Now that money's shown up, uh, Kenneth is now around a lot. And I think I think it's worthwhile to, to say, you know, put a question mark on it, saying is Kenneth now around because Mark and, and the GoFundMe and, and the funds that, that individuals have raised for the family are now there around. Yeah. And you'll see that, you know, he's got a lock and key on it. He lives next door. Obviously, keeps it locked up all the time. So it, it almost feels like this isn't, none of the, the, the rest of the family, there's, it's not theirs. It's his. It, it's very much his and doesn't want anyone else inside. Or, that, or at least that's what it feels like when he puts a lock and key on it you know, uh, next door and, you know, uh, conversing around. It's not often that you put a lock when everybody's just family around. I tried to fix it up everything. They, they got insulations and stuff. Nice. I ran out of money. You ran out of money? I ran out of money. All right, well, <laughs> these videos tend to get you guys some help. We got a nice bedroom in there. Look at that. Oh. You got the nicest room in the in the whole... Yeah, you're cleaner than the rest of your family. Oh, yeah, I'll take my clean. Everything I stay clean. What was, it, what was the rest of the family like? <laughs> so I, I know Ray and Timmy, Lorraine, Betty, Larry, but the rest of the gang, I don't really know so much. Tell me tell me about the rest of the family. I don't know. I don't hardly see Ray's my family. Betty. No, but what about growing up as a kid? Oh, we. Who else was there? I don't know what we done a lot of stuff when we growing up. You we done a lot of stuff when we growing up. Yeah. What what kind of stuff would you guys get into? Oh, we're gonna go and get out there play in mud, make mud cake, throw that everybody. Yeah. The ones that have the biggest impairment would be like Ray and Lorraine, right? Yeah, Ray would, and would, Lorraine. Everyone else was a little better off? Yeah. No no one else was uh, like Ray or Lorraine. No. And then Timmy came and joined the gang. Yeah. What what, what, do, what do you think the, the the problem that Ray has, and Ray and Lorraine, and maybe even Timmy, what do you think it is? Is it environmental or is it genetic? Environmental. Yeah, but like like you know, even the, the yeah. eyes, like your eyes are a little bit off. You know, you have. Yeah, that. I'll call it that. yeah. And Larry has, you know, everyone seems to have that in the family. Yeah. Do you think that was genetic, or do you think it was? 
environmental from coal mining. I don't know. It might be in the coal mining. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's hard to say that it was coal mining. Just you know, just knowing what we know. Um, but you know, perhaps some of those were environmental. But you don't see those things as prevalent in the region. Y you, you do see poverty and issues, but you don't see this level of of mental problems that that you see um, uh, with within this family. So I think there's it's more than just environmental, but that's what the family believes, and and I I, I think. You, you don't want to uh, put any down, you know, look down upon them because of what may be the, the real causes. Um, and, you know, and, and if it's environmental, it's environmental. If it's it's other, it's other. But but I think we, we look at this and I, I look at it and it's more of kind of outside of what's going on with the family and just saying, Kenneth, it looks like Kenneth has uh, moved in. Uh, <laughs> he's the uh, fresh Prince of Bel-Air and uh, the the the. the family members with money now Kenneth has decided to move in and and be part of them now uh, again as we said during the Walmart trip uh, he didn't he hardly sees them and hardly gets up there but now he's living on the same property and that, that's kind of what I have issue with maybe Kenneth's a good guy maybe he's trying to take care of them he's had you know he's got a family he's got a daughter and he's got other you know responsibilities but it's just odd that now that money's come in and significant money for the area that Ken is now uh, living on the, the property. What are you showing me, Ray? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you want a cake? <laughs> Ray wants a treat. Hey, a treat. Oh. Yeah, I ran out of money. <laughs> I can't fix it up right now. All right. Well, maybe maybe this video will generate a little more attention. You guys can fix up this uh, the interior of your uh, your trailer. Yeah, the exterior looks nice. Huh? The exterior looks nice. Oh yeah. And they did a nice job fixing up their place. Oh yeah, I'm gonna help them fix it, done everything. Mm -hmm. You know. It's nice here on this street. Oh yeah, it's nice. Road. Yeah. It used to, used to be a dirt road, right? Yeah, I'd be the dirt road. Eh? And you grew up in, You grew up here? Yeah, I grew up right, right over there when Larry Cuddy came around. Oh, right. And, that, and there used to be how many? 15, 14 kids? 15 of them. 15. Yeah. All here? Yeah, all here. Raised in a... Your parents were busy. A four or five room house over there. We raised up over there. There's four or five rooms over there? Yeah, it was in that little house we had. Oh, there was a house. Yeah, it was a house over. And it fell down. I don't know. I moved out after Daddy died. I moved out when I was eighteen. You moved out when you were eighteen. You yeah. finished high school. Yeah. What and what kind of work have you done? I you go to work at a black and night country club, cut the timbers and stuff like that. Mm hmm You ever think about leaving West Virginia? I I I live with me. I live in North Carolina, Virginia, Kentucky. Well, you see, you've been around. I've been around. These guys have never left the state. These guys I've have been. never, I bet, I bet you these guys have never left Raleigh, Raleigh County. No, we, we go visit somebody in that, <laughs> that value. Ray, you like it here? <laughs> You're happy? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I got you a bunch of coat. <laughs> I, I got you a bunch of coat. I took four shows. It's all junk up right now. What's your favorite memory as a kid, Kenneth? What? What's your favorite memory as a kid? Ray. Ray? <laughs> Ray used to be much rowdier, though. Yeah. I remember the first time I met Ray when Freddie was around. <laughs> yeah. And and Ray was so out of control. Yeah. I, I, I walked up to this. I think you were the one that helped me get them to uh, allow me to photograph them. It was you that, yeah, down on the side. You you were the one that helped me. Yeah. Because yeah. I think somebody had just passed away, yeah. and uh, Larry was in the house in the trailer across the street, and yeah. he, he said we just were, yeah. were mourning somebody who passed away. Yeah. And they didn't want me to bother anybody, and I said, okay, I, I got to respect that. Right. But then I came up with the the idea that maybe taking eight by ten Polaroid, which is what I was doing at the time, an instant photo, 
that, right. the, that you could put in the casket with the person that, that passed away. And I guess everyone liked that idea. And, and you helped me take a photo of you, and then I took a photo of... So, uh, if, you, if you recall, you remember Mark originally just came in and wanted to do a story, but um, there was somebody that had just passed. The, the family didn't want to do a story, so Mark said, well, let me take a picture of the family, and you could put it in the casket. And he, he built that connection, that relationship with them by just taking simple photographs, left, and then came back. I don't know, maybe a year or two later, and they remembered him. He had built that relationship. They trusted him. And then he did that first video shoot, that original video that we saw on YouTube, we, the original video that, that Mark shot on the Whitakers. Ray, and I took a photo of Timmy, and then eventually, <laughs> or no, Freddie. And yeah, then eventually, I, we tried to get Ray to cooperate. And every time I'd, I had the photo, the camera set up on a tripod, and I asked Ray to stand for the camera, he would stand like right next to it like this. <laughs> I like that. And so here's the original crew. We got Timmy. We've got Ray, which he definitely looks different now here. And then we got uh, Freddie. So Freddie's the one that, that passed away bef between Mark's first visit and the first video. So Freddie was the one that passed away. And, and it seems like Freddie was a really, a, you know, the older brother that, that, uh, that Ray looked up to. He, uh, <laughs> And as soon as I asked him to step back, he got all upset and he ran off. His pants would fall around his ankles because they didn't have a belt. And he'd go kicking a garbage can. Do you remember Ray used to do this? Yeah. Yeah, he'd kick a garbage or a metal garbage can yeah. and just like scream in the corner. Yeah. And this yeah. happened over and over and over. And then eventually he got Ray to stand for a photo right. with, with Timmy and uh, and Freddie. Right. Yeah, I give you think that. But he's calmed down. Yeah, look at Ray. Look at Ray. He's down. mellow now. <laughs> you need yeah, it's way a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Which one? Which, which one is it? Your left knee or your right knee? Which one hurting you? <laughs> Both of them. You're, you're walking fine. You seem okay. <laughs> you get out here, walk everywhere. He take out the out the road. He, he and goes go get him. He goes for a walk. Yeah. Do walk the dogs or anything? Oh yeah. Yeah. You eat it. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, you keep your trailer nice, nice and clean. Yeah, I like the rest of my family. Hey, <laughs> not like the rest of your family? Are you horrified by the dirt over there? Huh? It's a mess over there. Yeah, yeah. Is that is that how the parents were when they grow up? Was it a messy house? Yeah. Yeah. The apple doesn't, doesn't fall too far from the tree. Yeah. Yeah. That's so nice that you you kept it together, and you were married once, right? Yeah, I was married once before. Mm -hmm. uh, you're, sing you're, you're single now. I'm single now. Yeah, we ran into you at Walmart, so I saw your. Yeah, it was your I daughter, right? Stepdaughter. I, mm -hmm. I, I oh, ain't seen her yet. Oh, that's a stepdaughter. Oh, I see. <laughs> Do what? That was your stepdaughter. I ain't doing. Yeah. She She's living with grandma and grandpa right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I won't go down to see her when I get done. <laughs> When I ain't working. Yeah, I work a lot. <laughs> yeah, good truck. So this is the truck you guys bought with some, some yeah, of the money. Yeah, truck Benny just bought out my brother. Yeah. When they die. So that's the truck then that, that some of the 30K went to. I gave I gave ten thousand for this. How much? My own parking. Oh, you pay for this. I pay for this. Yeah. I pay. I paid four hundred and five dollars. Oh, oh, hold on. What happened? You got an accident here? He hit a deer. You hit a deer. <laughs> yeah. Larry did. Larry did. <laughs> yeah, I see. How's the deer? <laughs> How's the deer? Oh, he did it too, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this is what I like. I like just to follow. Is your firewood? Ray. This is how you heat the house? Follow rain. I got $10,000 for you. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, I got you 10 grand for this. He, you paid 10 grand? 10 grand. He said that three or four times, which maybe, maybe that's right. Maybe, maybe he did. But, you know, I, I, yeah, I just wish he didn't reiterate it so much. For me, it's a bit like, uh, come on, Kenneth. Okay, you've said it three, four times. You definitely want it known that you paid for this out of your own pocket. Um, he wants that known. Mm, okay, okay. Well, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm a bit cynical, but, um, you know, it's just odd that he shows up now. Ten grand. Mm. I got on payment. $405 What do you see? What are you pointing to, Rick? Ray? What do you think? Oh, you talking about a tree fell. Oh, a tree fell. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> fell. It didn't hurt anything. Hey, it made the root up. Oh, it, it fell on the house? Yeah, he fell on the tree. Oh, wow. When did this happen? I don't know. I wasn't even around then. Okay. Mm. They thought it'd be a pine tree fell on me. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I see. I see. <laughs> yeah, you cut those trees out there, right? <laughs> they get the trees off. <laughs> Ray, you don't like the belt I got you? Yeah. I mean, you don't like the belt? I bought him a belt at Walmart, but he's not using it. You don't wear a belt? He don't wear a belt. <laughs> he got a bunch of belt in there. Is that right? Yeah, he be be getting the bottom of the bill. He don't worry. <laughs> People don't change. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Raising is uh, <laughs> what's, your, what's, what's your favorite season, Ray? You like <laughs> you like summer? Or you like winter? <laughs> you like summer or winter, Ray? <laughs> you like snow? He won't get out when it snows. Yeah, I don't blame him. It's cold he here. Get out in the winter time. Though. You won't see I me in the winter, winter either. I grew up in that. I had to. I used to get out and work in it. That's not for me. Is that pie good, Ray? Is <laughs> it bicycle? No, it's Ray. Can Ray ride a bicycle? Hey, you two now. Yeah. When you grow up now. I don't know how about an ounce. I'd love to see Ray on a bicycle. Ray, get on that bicycle. So, Mark, you get on a bike too. Get down the road on him. He won't take a picture of you. Can you ride a bike? Hey. Yeah, I'll, I'll, hold, it. I'll hold it. Here, I'll hold your cake. Here we go. Get out and go. This should be fun. Oh, he's doing a good job. Right. Oh, he's doing a good job. <laughs> Timmy's loving it. Hey, God. Hey, good What was it like growing up here? Huh? What was it like growing up here as kids? It's okay. Yeah? Real nice. What kind of things would you guys do? What, what kind of things would you guys do as kids? Fifteen kids. Oh, you know. Fifteen kids. <laughs> yeah. You don't know anything better. There's a so house you across just, the street. You do what you yeah, got to do. You don't know anything right better. Yeah. Where your trailer is, huh? Where are your trailer is? Six rooms. So bigger than this one. Yeah, it was a lot bigger than that one. Yeah, you need it for fifteen kids. You need it for fifteen kids. Did you have this one then? Did you have this house then? No. So only that one. How got so so old and she had the money fixed it up and she bought this trailer and my nephew and his father still on there. My brother, he built a little house on the back of the and if you if you had more money, what would you continue to do? What, well, what we, am, we're going to finish the fixing this house up. Yeah. We are. You've done a nice job so far. So yeah. Larry seems to be perhaps the most 
cognitively aware. Um, he, and the one that's taken care of the family up to this point. We saw his his daughter in the last video. It, it almost like he was part of those first videos. He just didn't want to be on camera. Uh, but but he seems like he's been part because we saw that trailer in those first video where he lives. And uh, I have to assume that he's he's been instrumental in keeping the family going up to this point. So I, I think Kenneth maybe has been injected you know after the fact but but you know i don't i don't know the full story but it looks like larry is continues to be a real mainstay in the family yeah what takes so much people charging you a lot yeah i know house, house improvements aren't cheap yeah i know <laughs> you tell me <laughs> what money like that i will get my fixed up over there <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll figure out a way yeah, we'll help you out. Yeah. You know, it takes time. Timmy, what are you what are you doing? Are you drawing? Uh, writing. He's writing? Yeah. Show me what you write. Show me what you write in there. He probably tear him out when he's writing him. No. He probably tore him out. Wrote. He turns him out when he gets a whole page full. That's what he wrote to. Let me see. Give me what it is. Give me what it is. That, that's the absolute sweetest thing in the world. Just to see Timmy writing his name. I, I You know, having... Uh, you know, uh, spending time with young kids and and seeing the, the, you know, that cognitive side of being able to write your name and being able to write letters and characters just to see Timmy write his name over. And I'm sure he's so proud of it. It's so uh, it's just heartwarming to see him do. You can spell dog. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. He can look at the phone and tell who, who called a uh, no number. Yeah. I think Timmy's much smarter than than he appears. You graduated high school. You graduated high school, Timmy. Yeah. 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 I can read. Who, he can read. Who's the? Uh, who's the? I know Timmy's uh, a nephew. Yeah. Who's the youngest of the fifteen kids? <laughs> she lives down the road. She lives down the road. She lives down the road. You, she she comes to visit you sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Who's the oldest? Lorraine. Lorraine is the oldest? Yeah. No, no, no. No, Nanny. Nanny. Her sister. She looks like your Sophie. Okay. <coughs> you guys you guys see each other still? Huh? You guys all see each other? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you seem like a you, you seem like a happy family. Yeah. Well, I take her store and everything and there's when she called one to go to the store. Mm -hmm. So you're you're the one I who drives. You're the one who drives. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the one here. Go <laughs> on. <laughs> you and you and Betty are the are the. No, I don't think we're right. No, but but you you two are the ones who keep everything together. Yeah. Pay the bills, do whatever you need to do. Right? I take Betty's store, take her, pay her bills, and all that. Yeah. You know, I'm yeah. right here all the time. Yeah, yeah. You know. Then I got my older sister. She called, bought me take her store, you know all that. And I take her store to Walmart, you mm -hmm. know. Hey, <laughs> I'm So here we're we, again. It, it you really see that there's a large number of people that we don't know. So we're seeing probably the the most mentally challenged of the crew. Uh, but but we see Larry here, who who's taking a leadership role and really helping out. Um, and you, it looks like there's an, a youngest daughter that lives down the road, an oldest daughter still alive. So uh, many of the the family still alive. We don't know their cognitive abilities. We don't know what what you know they, they, their abilities are. But we see that, that, that it's still family. They visit. They're around. And and that's the biggest thing, right? It's family's family. Doesn't matter how crazy you are. Doesn't matter if you, what problems and issues. Family is always family, and you take care of family. You take care of your brothers. You take care of your sisters. You take care of mom and dad.
taking care of nieces and nephews. And, and that's what I think the, the great thing about the U.S., great thing about really the cultures overall, is you take care of family. And Larry here, it looks like, has really stepped up and done a lot for family. You know, I've been pretty busy, you know. Yeah, you guys stay busy. Tell me something about Lorraine. I know very little about Lorraine. She's the mystery <laughs> member of the family. She doesn't quite she know nobody. She don't talk to nobody. <laughs> Lorraine doesn't talk? She can talk. Yeah, I've, heard, I've heard her talk before. When she wants to talk to us. She wouldn't talk to the doctor when I take her doctor. Lorraine, you look healthy. Yes, she's healthy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready for summer? Huh? You ready for summer? I'm ready for summer, Mark. Yeah, I'll bet. We are. <laughs> All right. Well, nice seeing you guys again. Where? I'll see you again sometime this summer. I'm sure I'll be back. <coughs> we'll come visit you. All right. Thanks, everybody. Ray, we'll see you later. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Bye, Dave. Okay. All right. Bye, bye. Bye. Okay, so there we have it. That is the video. That's um, eh, it's challenging because we see. I think Kenneth maybe coming in and taking a little bit advantage of the money. I, I don't know that. That's speculation. But um, we see Larry who who continues to take care of the family. But I think the biggest thing, even even if, if, if there are people taking advantage of the family, that I think you're going to get that in any situation. I think the fact that you've got improvement in life. You see the clothes they're wearing, much cleaner. They look better. They look much healthier. They're they're uh, raised knees better. You've got a happy Betty. You've got Betty with a smile on her face. You've got um, a, a roof, which I, I, we didn't see before. We didn't see when, when it rained, but I'm sure there was rain coming in. So you've got a roof. You've got siding. So you've got some of those. Um, if you look at the Maslow hierarchy of needs, you've got some of those core needs met. Housing, shelter. You've got food. And I think that is worthwhile even if there's folks coming in and taking advantage and, and we can't blame mark for that because he's helping a lot of people so i think just seeing that that update it is is worthwhile it are people taking advantage again maybe but i think overall the folks that have have contributed to this family it has been very beneficial to them. I think it's evident in this video, and we're going to be doing the next video in the very new future. There's one more video that's out. We're going to update that, um, and then I'm sure Mark will have more videos coming out, but there's only one that's been published since, um, since this video. We'll be doing that. So in the meantime, please give me a subscribe if, if you can. Um, if, if, if that subscription helps me a lot, it helps keep me going, helps me keep doing. I don't, uh, there's no monetization for me for these. I just enjoy the Whitakers. I enjoy seeing Ray. I enjoy seeing Betty and Timmy and the crew. Um, this is really just about education. It's about getting the word out so that individuals that want to help can go to Mark's channel and, and, and support support the Whitakers and support what Mark's doing, support what the Whitakers are doing and helping them. So thank you for your time. And again, I ask you for that subscription um, and please like, subscribe, comment uh, below. I'm getting a lot of comments, a lot of, of interaction and, and very interesting stories that we talk about and I think overall a lot of people that really care for the Whitakers and want to see them uh, have a better life. So thank you for your time and um, until next time I am the Global Reveler and I hope to see you in the next video. So thanks again. All right. Bye-bye.